Hey there, my name is Scott McMahon. This is a quick Film Trooper production tip, and we're actually going to go into post production. I am starting pre production on my next feature film, The Latch Key, but I also have to finish up some loose ends on my last feature film called The Cube. And so a lot of these digital distribution platforms require that you have uh, subtitles and closed captions. So um, I'm going to show you kind of a quick tip of how to make your own closed captions manually, subtitles manually. And I'm going to show you all the things that I learned from other blogs that didn't quite work for me, and I'll show you why. And as I drive into the street here, totally probably not the safest thing, um, but um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, here I'm at my computer, and I'm going to show you how to manually create some subtitles and caption files for your movie if you want to add it to your Vimeo on Demand file or your YouTube file, or if you're going to put it up onto IndieRain or IndieWire or Distrify, um, even if you're trying to get ready for iTunes or Netflix or Hulu. So I will show you. So here's my movie on Vimeo on Demand. It's called The Cube. It's a, a feature film that was made for $500 with no crew. And if you click on watch the trailer, you get to hear a little bit of it. Of it. This little file here. What is this? I'm going to pause this real quick. This little file here sets it up so you can add your closed caption file and your subtitle file. So there, you could actually have a list of uh, different um, files here for your audience to to use. There could be a Spanish subtitle, French subtitle, a uh, German subtitle. What's the difference between a closed caption and a subtitle file is that closed caption files um, usually have like indicators of if there's creepy music or a car drives by. So you might see like in parentheses, car drives by, or if there's a loud sound off screen, like a big bang, you might hear bang or crash. But subtitles are just primarily just used to uh, interpret or show uh, the printed word for the dialogue that's being spoken um, in whatever, you know, language that you need, you need to communicate it. So here's a little sample of the closed captioning slash uh, subtitle style file in Vimeo. I don't know. I was hoping you might know what it is. What do you mean? It was by the front door when I got home today. It's pretty cool how interactive it is and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Do you think it's some sort of Chinese New Year's tradition? Like one of those hey, there's me. Things? Some weird Asian thingies. Okay, here we go. So what we do is Vimeo actually has this section here, um, and I'll leave a link in the notes, um, a frequently asked question. I almost sound like I cursed. It's FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. And this one is captions and subtitles. So you can go through this link of what they recommend of how to create some for your uh, file. As you can see here, their example, they've got French subtitles, Spanish, English, and Dutch. And if you don't want any, just hit none. Um, I went through this uh, setup as Vimeo recommended and they do recommend that you use a web VTT file format the old style format that still works is a SRT SRT I think stands for like sub ripper text file that was it's an older format of uh, subtitles um, and then the web VTT is supposed to be I think more optimized for HTML5 anyhow I've seen some other um, blogs that talk about how to make uh, uh, closed captioning files and subtitle files manually and you just sort of open up a text file and start formatting correctly through you, the way you uh, set it up and I'll show you that in a second but the the file the format that they say it has to be at least saved as a UTF-8 format well I did all this stuff just on a blank text file and it didn't work and I'm gonna show you some other things that Vimeo uh, recommends is that they recommend you go through a Mara um, this is a free subtitling uh, service. So when you click on Amara over here, um, you would have to log in. I'm already logged in. Either sign up or log in if you haven't already have an account. But you probably just sign up. It's a simple, you know, name, uh, email, and password. So here's the cool thing. So you, what you'll do is you have a YouTube file or a Vimeo file. Uh, you paste the link here. Now. In order to get this link, 
um, for the for the files that I need to show. I need to actually go in my back end of my Vimeo uh, account, and this is uh, one of the videos I have. This is a uh, another t uh, version of the movie trailer that I created, and you actually just create. You want to cut, uh, copy and paste this file. So we copy this, bring it over into Amara free. Uh, captioning software and then we hit subtitle and it should start processing it as you can see it it loads it up and you're like hey subtitle me so let me show that again real slowly so here's the back end of their dashboard so I went through this process and I said okay I'll start subtitling my trailer to at least give um, you know a test to see how well this works so I hit this and we're obviously going to find the language that you want to put this um, subtitling and capturing in. So I want English. This video is in English. Subtitle into English and say continue. Anyway, so they have a really straightforward how to uh, use their interface. It's step one, step two, step three. And um, press tab to start. So that's what we'll do. So we see this. What is this? So I'm supposed to start typing in like, oh, what is this? And then keep going and then press enter to save to the next title so boom next title i don't know i was hoping you might know what it is what do you mean so i don't know whoops i don't know i was hoping you knew what it was Anyhow, the way they had this design is that you would just listen and type. So we'll back up here a little quick. I don't know. I was hoping you might know what it is. What do you mean? It was by the front door when I got home today. Did it say it was from? No, there's nothing on it. Do you think it's some sort of Chinese New Year's tradition? Anyhow, so as you can see, the timing is completely off. They, what they want you to do is sort of go through this and just write it up, just get um, all the transcribing uh, done uh, through this system, right? So then the next step you want to go to is uh, step number two. Okay, so now we're going to start syncing. What is so as you can see, the way they built this is like these little tabs uh, are set up so that you can start to um, fine tune the timing. So here I say, what is, what is this? So you can kind of scroll back here. What is this? And then you can fine tune it here. And then uh, the next file, you click down here. Say, I don't know. She says, I know. She so butted up again there. What is this? I don't know. I was hoping you might know what it is. Obviously, I didn't correctly type that in, so I had to go back in here. I don't know. I was hoping you... I don't know. What, what does she say? I wrote the script. I don't even I don't know, know what she said. I was hoping you might know what it is. I was hoping you might know what it is. It is all right so then you see, as you can see this takes a while you gotta you know use their system they even have more controls you can start to start the subtitle and the subtitle um, this actually is a new interface than the one that I used but um, we can say save and then what we can do is download the subtitles and so you hit download and it downloads your uh, subtitle as an SRT file in English. So what happens is when you go back up to your Vimeo file and you go into the settings, or it's under advanced, under advanced, you can add um, captions and sub, uh, subtitles. So I'm going to add, choose a subtitle f uh, file to upload, use this file, upload it, we're going to call this a subtitle file, not a closed caption file. So as you can see, it's in English. Um, 
This is the back end of Vimeo again. So you can change, like if you have a French subtitle, German subtitle, but this one's in English. And you can, you know, leave it blank. Or in this case, we're going to say it's a subtitle. And of course, you say save. Now, if we go back to our file and we start, we want to play with what I just made. Uh, it's not an English closed caption file. This is something I've already created. This is the English uh, subtitle file. So we're going to click that. And you can see kind of how messed up the timing is, but you get an idea. What is this? I don't know. I was hoping you might know what it is. What do you mean? It was found in the front door when I got home today. Did it say it was... So that's pretty good right there. Again, you can always go back to the file in Amara. And you can go into improve these subtitles, which will take you back to the editor. So it loads it, and then you can go back in here and start editing um, the different stages. So if you want to start doing your yes, I want to start syncing uh, section here, then you can start uh, playing through all this and trying to make sure you've got everything squared away. Um, and actually, it's funny. This is a, it looks like they've updated their uh, interface and it's gotten a lot cleaner and a lot more accurate. When I originally used Amara, I was, all my subtitles were off by a second, which prompted me to do it manually. So I will show you um, how to do that manually right now. So what you need is I use Text Wrangler. I'm on the Mac. Um, I think Notepad is what you would use on the PC. Um, I also use MPEG Stream Clip, which is a free um, video player converter that's online. And, um, and then I created this little um, text file under text edit in the Mac that converts, it gives you sort of a table of what each frame equals a millisecond. So 24 frames per second convert, convert to milliseconds. So one frame would equal 0.041. Uh, milliseconds on all the way down to 23 frames. Why that's important is that the cool thing here is I've got um, my movie file uh, f uh, for my film and in here it shows you know we're at three minutes, three seconds and five frames. So that would be five frames would equal 0 0.208 milliseconds. Now here's the format that you see um, when creating a web VTT file, uh, and this is uh, the closed caption file here, and I'm going to show you um, that one file that we just created here. I'm going to open this up, open this up in uh, Text Wrangler as well, so you can see sort of the back end. So this is what SRT file looks like. So as you can see, it just says your first subtitle will be at this time frame which is, uh, you know, two seconds and 40, uh, 490 milliseconds. And it go that starts there, and it ends at three seconds, 880 milliseconds. And this is what it needs to say. And then this is how simple the file looks, right? Um, like I said, if you try to, at least for me, when I try to create something from scratch by just creating a new text file, and I try to do this format, um, Vimeo wouldn't accept it for some reason. So there's something else in the code of this uh, simple text file um, that I needed to extract from the Amara download. Anyhow, so the difference between like a SRT file is they use like commas. So if you go here and you look at what an EB, uh, I'm sorry, a web VTT file uh, format is, it uses um, um, the decimal. So there is no um, uh, comma. And then they also give you um, an option to align the middle line so it's like 85, 84, 85% of, um, you know, high. Because if you don't put anything down on there, the uh, subtitle file sometimes will just be at the very, very bottom. And it looks a little off where you want to add just a little bit of, um, you know, um, alignment where it's going to be. So you can even put 50%. 50% means the subtitle will be right in the middle of the screen right here. In order to get a uh, web VTT file, for some reason, again, uh, it's, it wasn't just as simple as just start creating a, a simple text file. This is the stuff that they showed on um, other blogs, but when I, I tried to apply it, it didn't work. So here's a little funny little trick, is there's another service called 3playmedia.com that offers a free caption format converter. So here, 
um, you would simply put in like what format you want to have your file converted to. So if you went from Amara, the free uh, captioning software, and you had downloaded um, the SRT file that they give you, you can actually have it converted to a web VTT file using 3playmedia.com uh, caption format converter. And so you just put your email in this, and then you would uh, paste in the file, your SRT file in here, the entire file, and they would convert it. And as they convert it, um, let's see here, we'll just do it right now. We go to Text Wrangler. Here's a simple um, SRT file. Let's copy and paste and say convert my file. You successfully converted your file. Please check your email for the converted version. So if we go back to my email, so we go back to my email and they have given me a caption file VTT. As you can see, it sets it up with the web VTT um, header and then it converted it to, um, you know, the decimal point, solid decimal point, and it shows the alignment of where it needs to be. So that's how I was able to figure out, like if I was gonna do this manually, this is, I'm sorry, this is the SRT file from Amara, sent it to 3Play Media for the free conversion to create the web VTT file that Vimeo requests or recommends. And what I did was because I was unable to create a standard, um, document on my own looking at this very basic format for some reason it just would not accept it I did a little trick which is simply said okay well if this particular file works file format works let's just get rid of all this junk now I have a blank slate web VTT file that I can start creating my own manual uh, version of it and so this is what this looks like so all I did was take this file format from 3Play Media and then now I can start editing it um, uh, using the same format that they recommend for web VTT format. So to do it manually now uh, using MPEG Stream Clip and um, and this millisecond uh, f frames per second conversion uh, chart that I created I just take uh, my time and start to going through my movie and I did the first seven minutes of the movie so far but as you can see it's a lot of work uh, manually um, but it can be done if you just do it in chunks so the next one I'm going to be doing is uh, line nine, number seven uh, I'm sorry line number 97 so if the last um, subtitle or captioning f this is this is a captioning file because I've put in soft crunching and crackly sound if it ends at seven minutes, two seconds, and uh, no milliseconds, uh, then the next file is going to be, let's check it out. So we scroll over to about seven minutes, the first seven minutes. Okay, so the flower starts crunching. And then here we go, we hit play. Okay, so from right here, at seven minutes, 12 seconds, and nine um, nine frames, nine frames would e equal 0.374 milliseconds. So I'm going to have to write in here that it is at, um, one thing I, I do is just like to copy and paste this stuff like this to the next one makes it easier. And then now I can just change the uh, time. So it's going to be seven seconds, semicolon, I'm sorry, seven minutes, 12 seconds, period. And again, if it's nine frames, it's going to equal 0.374 milliseconds. So 374 milliseconds. And, um, and this audio is going to end. Then I'm just going to say here that it ends at 7.20.06. So 7 minutes, 20 seconds, 6 frames over here equals 249, 0.249 milliseconds. So 249 milliseconds. 
And this is a, I'm just going to say, um, weather person um, newscast on TV. That's because I don't need to go through everything that she says. Um, it just needs to say that there's some sound effects in the background. And so you just keep going. So I know my movie, so I don't really, there's not a lot of dialogue until I think she, uh, my character laughs at her. And she says, shut up. So I've got to figure out where that code is. So she says, and you can frame it, dink, 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 back. So she probably starts around here. So as you can see, it's 7 minutes, 42 seconds, 4 frames, 4 frames equals 0.166 milliseconds. So again, we're just going to copy and paste all this to the next line. Let's see if I can't get this up better for you to take a look at. Here we go. So I copy and paste this, paste the next line down. It's going to be number 98. It starts at 7 minutes, 42 seconds, 4 frames. 4 frames equals um, 0.166 milliseconds. And then she's going to say, shut up. So how long does that take? Boom. Ends at 7.43 and 7 frames. 7 frames equals uh, 0.291 milliseconds. Milliseconds. Boom. Save the file often. And this is how I build a manual um, closed caption file and subtitle file. So what I'll do is for the subtitle file is I will make a another copy of this uh, VTT file and just eliminate um, anything that has the um, indicator of uh, sound effects or uh, music and all that kind of stuff and it will just become a subtitle file so and here's a cool thing so say like if you want to do a poor man's sort of um, foreign language translation right so you can grab something like this you can grab your file here, say shut up, say, you know, copy that. Use uh, Google's Translate um, feature, which is uh, translate.google.com. Um, first, you want to put in shut up. So of course, that's shut, shut up. But what does Spanish look like? Say translate. So you want uh, English to Spanish translate. So then here, it says I will, I'm going to butcher this. Calete. Oh my God, I'm sorry, all my Spanish friends. So <laughs> you can just copy and paste this. Copy and then go back to your text wrangler and just paste that in. And then you can start having a sort of a poor man's version of um, translation. Very slow process of adding manual um, closed caption subtitle files to your movie. Um, but it works. And like I said, I've tried some of the, the free services that they use online uh, with Amara, and I had difficulty um, timing it up. Like even though it was perfect time here, when I had exported the file and brought it into Vimeo in the back end, in the back end of the video stuff here, um, and I uploaded it, it it just was off like about one second each time. So Amara may have gotten better, so you can decide to use this free service Amara, but if not, you know there's an out because you can take the downloaded SRT file they give you, bring it back into 3playmedia.com, they have a free caption format converter, and they can convert it to the web uh, VTT file. You bring that into Text Wrangler, which is free online if you're on a Mac, um, MPEG stream clip for your movie so you can see a uh, frame count and then I will give you this free uh, tw um, frames per second conversion to milliseconds so you can have this to use. So I hope that helps a little bit, gives a little bit more detail about uh, different options of creating uh, closed captions and subtitle files and like as you can see I'm only in the seven minute mark this is an hour and a half movie hour 20 minute movie so there's a lot that I've got to uh, go through there are some other interesting um, 
tricks I've seen online. Some people take their literally their script and then just start cut and pasting uh, their dialogue into these file format here. Uh, but obviously, even though I wrote a script, uh, what's actually on screen is sometimes different. It's worded differently than what was actually in the final script. So I have to still do this manually this way. Anyway, I hope this is helpful to anybody out there trying to do closed captioning and subtitles on their own. And like I said, I've read other blog posts and tried to apply what they taught. But this is sort of the real world situation that I found myself in, which is something as dumb as a simple text file that you think would be formatted correctly wasn't formatted correctly it just wasn't uh, being accepted by Vimeo um, and YouTube so I had to w find a workaround and the workaround again is to take the files given to you by these free services like Amara.org and then take it through the conversion process of that's offered free by 3playmedia.com and then you know create a workaround and then here again here's a poor man's version of a workaround of uh, Spanish and French um, um, translation and, and other languages as well. So you can do this all on your own without paying a uh, service or um, purchasing a software. Um, so, but it's just time. So you just have to put the time in to make it happen. So I just do it in chunks and eventually I'll get the files done. Again, if you go to filmtrooper.com, you'll be able to, hey, there I am. So you can go down here and click on to get yourself a free gift which is a free gear guide it's an equipment list of everything I use to make the the film the cube and it's just a helpful kind of like um, uh, reference guide uh, of what equipment's out there that you can be used uh, inexpensively thanks again for tuning in and watching uh, this uh, film trooper um, production tip